I am Adil Kumar. Here is a practice question to find integral of trigonometric functions. As you know, we may have to apply trigonometric identities and some techniques to simplify before applying their formulas directly. So we have two examples to practice. The first one is integral of dx over sine square x cos square x. The other one is integral of tan square x dx. So let's begin with the very first one. Uh, it is, we have sine square x cos square x in the denominator. How do we simplify this? Well, think like this. We have 1 in the numerator. Think like that. So let me show you the steps. Let's say we have 1 over all this dx. Think like this. Now, how could you write 1 as? 1 could be written as sine square x plus cos square x. Correct? That's a Pythagorean identity for trigonometry. And then we have sine square x cos square x in the denominator, dx. Now you could write them as two fractions, kind of, right? So sine square x over, so the first one, sine square x, sine square x cancels, you could write this as 1 over cos square x, right? Plus, in this case, cos square x over all this will give you 1 over sine square x, correct? dx. Well, you may put them in brackets to be on safe side. Okay, now, 1 over cos square x is secant square x, right? So we could write this as secant square x plus 1 over sine square x is cosecant square x. And so we can write this as cosecant square x, right? And then we'll apply the the given formula and the rules for integration. So rule says you can add the integrals, correct? So integral of secant square x is tan x. So we can write this as tan x. And integral of cosecant square x is minus cot x. So minus cot x. And always in indefinite integrals, you get a constant at the end, right? So plus c, which is the constant for you, right? So that is how you can actually find the integral of this given function. Now let's do the next one. Tan square x. Tan square x is 1 plus, okay, 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x, correct? So tan square x is secant square x minus 1, actually, right? So uh, so, you know, let me rewrite this. So, tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1, okay? So, that is how we can rewrite this. And then, we can apply the formula. So, it could be written integral of secant square x and then minus 1. So, integral of secant square x is tan x. So this is tan x. And integral of 1 is x plus c. So we get our answer straight, right? That's kind of simple, but it is important to remember these identities so that they could be applied. And then once you transform your function, then you can use the integrals from the table. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.